Good morning to y'all. And to you, ma'am. Begging a pardon for the imposition, but a few words he's speaking on. Won't you come inside, then? You'll have to forgive us. We're not used to seeing folks out here. Is the water to your liking? Very much so. Thank you. Yeah, well, it's the darndest thing. The, the well out there is all full of sulfur, but you, you set a picture of it out in the sun for an hour, and it seems to, to fix it right up. <laughs> Word had it was just the two of you. Our daughter, Ruth. How you managed to maintain yourself. I applaud you, ma'am. Quite a nice piece of land you have here. Secluded, though isolated. Well, we make do, don't we? Still, man's a complicated and fickle creature. Once he grows accustomed to having some, it's hard to learn to be without. Simple things. No slightest of diversions and convenience that gives him a, a sense of reprieve. I myself, I find that paramount to our existence. Amen to that. I, I spend most of my life on the trail, far from the amenities of the gentrified. A fresh cigar, a smooth shot of whiskey. Or the warmth down between the thighs of a fine woman. At least for that last one, you're not having to do without. How are you, Isaac? Name's Meacham. James Meacham. Oh, forgive my error. I was told that this was a homestead of a Mr. Isaac Ackerman. Six of 12 and four men in the trial of a man by the name of Jake Tullis. The word is that Mr. Ackerman and his fellows weren't content to simply snatch a life from old Jake, but left him on a rope past sundown. Left him there for a better part of the month. As the birds pecked out his eyes from his skull and the flesh off his bones. Go tend to your chores, Ruth. Do no such thing. Well, I regret this not being a tale such innocent ears should hear. If I'm the now, Dulles was no angel. And that much is true. But whatever could he have done to warrant such cruelty? And at the hands of such fine and upstanding people? Yeah, I've asked this question of many. And still I have yet to get an answer that satisfies. So I inquire to you, Mr. Ackerman. What great cruelty befell those good people that would cause them to behave in such a way? This turn out any different if I spin you some fancy words? Good man. Hard and steady to the last. Can't say the same for any of the others. But it's only fitting, seeing as how you're the final notch to carve in the iron. Last of 12. Huh. Well, I figured you heard. But maybe you hadn't seen us how far you ran. But just to move things along, I find you guilty. <laughs> Mama! Let her go, please. Please. Oh, it's a precious thing to behold. The love a father has for his child. Nothing runs so thick as blood. <laughs> Were you there that day? 
Mrs. Ackerman. Imagine you're proud of your husband. I beg you, please. And what I hear is quite the occurrence. Brought in folks from miles around, all endeavoring to steal a peek. His Isaac here, the duly appointed foreman, rose to his feet and read aloud the verdict. Condemned to death, my brother. Did it make you proud of your man, Mrs. Ackerman? This last one's not rhetorical, and I'm expecting a reply. Now, you're thinking this can only end bad. You're right. But tell me the truth. Maybe I'll let the girl live. I was proud. Proud that my husband could deliver what he thought was justice. Thank you, ma'am. Sincerely. No! <laughs> Do you bleed? Are you a woman yet? Yes. She comes with us. No, 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 no. Well, you can pray to Jesus. You can do God's will. Who the hell are you? Given the fact that I took the trouble to send you a wire, I was expecting you would already know that. Are you here for Garrett? Garrett, rise and shine. You got yourself a visitor. Well, I don't know you. Quincy Hollis Foster, United States Marshal. What can I do for you? Would you be so kind as to give us a moment alone? You gonna state your purpose? Thank you, I'll wait until you've finished. <sighs> Done. Right to it then. Tracking a man of your acquaintance. You agree to help me find him and you walk out of here tonight a free man. <laughs> I amuse you. Not in the slightest. What are you doing? I'm going back to bed. And if you plan on staying, I'd appreciate you cutting down on the chatter. I've just stated that if you agree to help me, I will secure your liberty. You want me to help you find Royce Tullis. And I hear it's been keeping you boys pretty busy of late. Yes, I want you to help me find Mr. Tullis. And Gretchen James, Samson Sullivan, and Cyrus Pope. Two days ago, they crossed the final name off their list a man by the name of Ackerman. Killed his wife, too. But they had a daughter. Might still be alive, though if that be the case by now, she's likely wishing it wasn't so. You can't be this simple. <clears throat> They're cutting me loose in a day or so. So help you or not, I'm flying this rat's nest. Ever heard of a town called Macon? Folks there sure know the name of Carson Garrett. Army scout and tracker turned rustler and highwayman. Carson Garrett, otherwise known as Marcus Tunstall, otherwise known as Carson Miller, wanted for the crimes of horse theft, larceny, and <laughs> lewd and lascivious conduct of an uncivilized nature. Sounds like you had yourself quite a time. What are you pitching here? A pardon for past offenses granted by Governor Safford's office. Uh, Chance at some redemption for an ill-spent life. And a pleasant thank you. Going up against Tullus? Nothing short of a death sentence. Certainly was that way for a town marshal, a territorial magistrate, and 12 good citizens. 
He gave his brother the swing. But at least this way, you get a chance, albeit a slim one, to slip a faith so earnestly deserved. There's a town not far from here called Silver Mill. You know it? Passed through on my way here. There's a saloon there, hard to miss. And there's a fine woman of less than honest repute. You get me out of here, a hot bath, some fresh clothes, and the ride on that beauty, you got yourself a deal. It's not exactly what you call an apple sucker, is it? Now, that little birdie over there was rightly satisfied another kind of hunger. Get it out of your head, Cyrus. We'll reach Creekside tomorrow, then don't trees the day after. Then you can eat till your guts burst, talk till you can't walk. If you keep your hands off the blondie, we still are intact. Bluff it. What the hell for? Yeah. A little strange, but bet you a better prize for the savages than just about any place else. I hate those fuckers. You're more than free to stay at Creekside. At least a better split for the rest of us. Nuts to that. All right. That looks about done. All right. Ladies first. Don't even think it. You know Ross wants her unspoiled. Give a little swallow. He'll come in there. Please, I just want to go home. Oh, well, I just think what happened. What the hell is that? It's off now. Put it away. Put it away! God damn. Fuck it all! Stick a blade on me, will ya? I will. Oh, 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 hey, oh, shut you. up! You just walk it off, Cyrus. He's just a little tough. No true home, done. Y'all get some sleep. The break of sunrise. Just relieved of our means of travel. No fucking way! Yes, fucking way. Well, they weren't blood feathers, at least. How do you know that? Because our throats ain't split open. Hey, bug eyes. I know you saw them, didn't you? 
Yeah, you saw him. You ain't think to warn us, did you? I know you learned him. Hey, I saw him talking. Hey, he's off. Hey, he's off. Hey, he's off. Hey, he's off. This little pizza strange is bad luck. That's all. Plain and simple. Cyrus, you are one simple son of a bitch. Keep on pushing me. Hey, Silence the other one. Silence it. All right? Now we're on foot from here. Here up what you can manage, all right? Hey. It's true? You hear them creeping up? No, sir. Well, I hope not. Because the bad things were for you, they just got a whole lot worse now that we got to cross the anvil on foot. All right. Let's get out. That's it. Just grab what you can. So would you be wanting a little filly yourself, then? Thank you, no. Uh, are you sure? You seem a bit wound up. I'll be just fine. Thank you. What'll you have, friend? Some tea would satisfy. Haven't got tea, but I could put a fresh pot of coffee on it. Thank you, no. Is your water clean? Pulled from the well this morning. I'll have that then. There you go, sir. One water. Thanks for that. He should be thanking the dude that paid. <laughs> Hell, thanks, dude. Who is he anyway? No, oh, some flat foot lawman. You gonna square me, Garrett? Well, that's just the cat's paw. He's enlisted me to track down Royce Tullis and his crew. Well, then. Well? Well, then, I guess this is goodbye. Hope you enjoyed yourself, Mr. Garrett. <laughs> Little romp in the bush. Might ease some of that tension you're holding on to. Now, don't keep with whores. Well, that ain't no fun. You know, I was thinking. Thinking? Since we're going up against the most dangerous gang in the territory, you could, like, purchase me a six-shooter. Hell, a rifle, even. That won't be necessary. Will it not? Don't expect you'll need to do any fighting. What, are you going to just ask old Tullis to come along peaceful-like? All you need to do, Mr. Garrett, is leave me to him. I can handle the matter from there. OK, then. Yeah. Hey! Wow, 2,000. Double what they were offering a week ago. You know that much metal's gonna draw some attention. That it will. Well, I swear this don't make no sense. What do you mean? Well, we was on the right trail Creekside, and this here would be Banshee's Peak. But it ain't. How can you tell? Well, if this here was Banshee's Peak, and down there would be Canis Wash. I don't know what that is down now, but it ain't Canis. We're lost! You barely bet All right, God damn it. Tim Wooden and he don't know where he's taking us. 
He's up. We're gonna figure this out. Yeah. Smoke down there. A few wisps. Why someone may camp. Could, could be Indian. Apaches, maybe. Hell, blood feathers, even. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, smoke can be seen for miles around. Blood feathers never call attention like that. All right. What say you, Jonah? Is it about done? I agree. Well, speak up, man, if you want me to share with you. Desist. Oh, Jonah, you leave me only the lamb share. Well, I need to relieve myself. Try and resist the temptation of your loss in his nature while I'm gone. Spare. Who are you? Uh, allow me to interject, sirs. Poor Jonah here hasn't even the power of the simplest of speech. But luckily for him, I confabulate well enough for the two of us. What's confabulate? Means a talk. Oh. oh. That's a good word. I, I remember that one. This the road to Creekside? Creekside? Creekside must be 90 leagues from here. You've quite a lengthy ride, sir, if that's your destination. What did I tell you? Sorry, boss. It's good storm and all. And now, where's this road take us? The nearest proper town would be Starkridge Hollow. Not more than two hours at a trot. Follow the road, it'll lead you there. Well, we'll be off. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Providence, protect us. Friends, stop. Jonah, my good man, curb yourself. Don't get involved in things that don't concern you. You should listen to him, Jonah. I can take him. Fucking hell, Cyrus! You want that little piece of yours? You just use the ball that trigger. Jonah, please. Heroics are detrimental to your health. That little birdie's on fire for me! Richard! God damn it! Get off me, Adler! I'll get you! Can't run from me, girl! She ain't worth so much as a corpse. Come now, Athelia. On your feet, bitch! The boys all right? You all right? Good day, friends. Nothing to concern yourself with. Boys are going to want to hold back! Salutations. Same to you. Welcome to Eminence Hill. Sir! Girl's a thief. Thought of trying to part with my purse. A thief, you say? She hasn't a look of one. We're gonna let our youth and vicious fool you. Turn it over, first lawman I come across. We're all lawmen here of a sort. And what sort would that be? No! No thief! Oh, help! Ah, God. 
God's law. There's no other kind. No argument here. You got a name? I'm Dathan. Dathan? He's not faring so well either. I can barely fucking walk. You should unencumber yourselves at our father's house. Fresh water for you and yours, food and respite. Tend to that wound of yours. It works for me both. I guess I can't rightly refuse. Lead the way, friend. Come then. I don't mean to question your proficiency, Mr. Garrett, but we seem to be heading north rather than south. Well, is that so? Macon lies to the south, as does the Ackerman homestead. You want to find Royce Tullis? He ain't in Macon or the Ackerman place. No, but ought we not try and pick up his trail from there? How else do you intend to track him? If you wanted yourself a tracker, you should have hired yourself a redskin. If you want to find Tullis, we're headed north. You know where he is, then? I've got an idea. Better than backtracking, in any case. How? Well, you say he has a girl with him? Only one reason he'd have a girl. <clears throat> oh, and it ain't what you think. So Gretchen cut his balls off. No, he's got an eye towards selling her. Selling her? Yeah, he'd fetch a good price to get all their teeth. And where would he go to broker such a transaction? Well, you got old Mexico, but that's crawling with headhunters. Fetch a better price up north. My bottom dollar says he's headed to Stone Trees. Never heard of it. Bloodfeathers territory. Bloodfeathers? Know him? Name rings out. Indians, Apache and Navajo renegades, along with other sorts. Hardest killers in the territory. Put the Mongolian hordes to shame. See. And that's where you believe Tullus is headed? I do. Very well, then. Hey, the reward. <clears throat> Cut it right down the middle, right? We do not. How do you figure? Well, you made your terms plain enough back in Riley. A bath, fresh clothes, and a turn in the velvet. You're shitting me. I have met my obligations, and you will do the same. Well, I bet you don't make many friends, do you? Folks, uh, friendly. A little too friendly. Nice and smell, though. I bet he eats good, too. I don't like it. You never like it. People seem kind of weird. And that means a lot coming from you. Call father? I'm Noah. Welcome to my ark. Fine spread you got here. Thank you. Rejoice, father. Oh, sister Wilhelmina. Looks wonderful. Nah. It's one tasty looking bird. Sunshine. Let us have some words before we partake. Uh, 
As we bow our heads, let us thank the Lord for his bounty, and may this harvest give us strength so that we may serve him better. For we know that only through service and worship of him shall we have salvation. Amen. Amen. Let's do it again. Some flavor. I'm glad it's to your liking. Where do you hail from? Well, uh, there and about. So it's only by happenstance that you are here in eminence. Just running out a thief. Wouldn't come across this place any other way. Yeah, I uh, can't say I ever heard of y'all before. I mean, I ain't never seen a map, y'all. And we keep to ourselves. Homestead. You know we'll go great. What is he about? A little bit old house. Uh, I beg your pardon? Whiskey. And beer, even. Oh, I'm sorry. We never partake in spiritous libations. Well, I was just playing on the floor last. I feel dizzy all of a sudden. Me too. I, I f f feel. It's best not to fight it. Let it take you. Days are warm, but I do mind how cold it gets up here when the sun goes down. Pete, hand me that. You hear that? No. Something's out there. Coyotes, probably. Hey, up there. Who's out there? Name's Garrett, coming in friendly. Got the law with me. We don't want any trouble. How's about both you boys step on down from those horses? As you like. Howdy. You tell your boy back there, no sudden moves. We just come for a simple passage of words and a little warmth by your fire there. All right, Papa Squat, but I'm going to keep my eyes on you. Obliged. Sorp. Mind if I do. Mm. Mm. Thank you, partner. Where are you fellas headed? Uh, nowhere special. And you? Of a kind? Just a ride about? A ride about, you say? We're headed the same place you boys are. Though we're looking to split that reward four ways. I don't know what you mean. Is that so? What about you, Foster? Call yourself the law now? That badge must have cost a tidy sum. I'm sorry, you seem to have me at a disadvantage. You don't remember me. I'm sure as pain, I could never forget you. Take a good look, boys. Got a real legend in our midst. Quincy Hollis Foster himself. You heard of him? I have. I... That's so, Charlie. Why don't you tell us all what you've heard? He's a killer.
killer. Boy, is that man's close to Armageddon in the flesh. It'll make you shudder to hear half the things they say he's done. Things I've done. You know, past tense underscores the lack of importance this subject holds to the present dilemma. Which is? From what I've been told of Mr. Tullis and his crew, the thoughtful money would be on him <laughs> wiping you boys out. There's little sense in taking a chance. After such efforts have been spent on my part. What, you just think you're gonna run us off? No. Well then. It's quite pleasant. If you don't mind, <clears throat> I think I'll make my own bedroll. Do as you please. That's the question we first need answered. Then we can talk of how you came upon us and if we should anticipate any more visitors. But for all in proper order, who are you? I'm Royce Tullis. Name's not foreign to me. No, that's my for surprise. Understandable. Because if I knew who I was holding, I'd be a fool to misuse him so. That's about the big of it. See, this, I ain't got to be in a situation here. I can make profit. I turn this on people. Me. You agree? Look beyond us. I'm not interested in looking beyond anything. Christ. I'll knock the devil out of you, boy. The strike was for the blasphemy. If you're able to refrain, then you can keep the rest of your smile. Now, please, answer the question. You're a dead man. All of you. What are you doing? What are you doing? Left hand. No, 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 You'd rather be a right-hand gunslinger? No, hold on! I'm wrong! God! Answer. What got dead? Last time, how'd you find us? I, I, 
Oh. Oh. It was, it was a plan. We chased it down a child. She broke away from us and came upon y'all. By the looks of her, she'd have issues stealing a chicken. Who is she? Why? What could you possibly care about her? You abducted her. From where? And is anyone liable to come looking for her? No one's gonna come looking for her, because we left not alive. But the manner in which I left her people is nothing compared to what's going to happen to you if you don't cut me loose. It's going to be a long night for you, Mr. Tullis. But we'll break this defiant streak. Easy on that. Needs to last all day. Hell's got to be colder. You know, if we push through, we'll make it to Sharon Springs by nightfall. Oh. And if we stop for respite? <laughs> it's only a source of fresh water for miles. We stop before then, and we die. I take it you're used to these horrendous conditions. I am. Myself, I fear I never will acclimate to extremists of weather, hot or cold. Well, I wouldn't grow too sour. Seems like you've developed a comfort for other things. I suppose that's true. It doesn't unsettle you at all, does it? Killing folks. I do only as my obligations dictate. And that's how you reckon with it. You know, for a man who once rode with the most vile outlaw in the territory, you seem curiously judgmental. I've done my share of bloodletting. Just never took to it the way men like you have. <laughs> You find that amusing? There are no men like me, Mr. Garrett. Well, I know of one. <clears throat> Fates were kind. You wind up ending each other before this is over. The world would be better off for it, I suppose. you wait. I'm gonna delight in making you suffer. Hey, where are you taking her? Oh, can't you hear me? Swine fuckers! Good afternoon. Apologies about yesterday, but today we'll see you fare better, I believe. Thanks to you, brothers, but I can take count of her from here. I am Sister Abigail, but you may call me Abby. Ruth. By his blessing, may she share my harvest and home. Where you go, I will go. And where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God, my God. What? A recital of your namesake, Ruth. Pure of heart and friend of God's people. See now, Athelia, what a meager amount of tenderness can achieve in restoring the wayward lamb. Yes, ma'am. As with all things, only possible through the Lord. Yes. And why is that? Because the righteous only act in... In the furtherance? Furtherance of his will. Quite right, child. 
And as they continued to ask him, he stood up and said to them, Let him who is without sin among you be the first to throw a stone at her. Yes? How lovely you look. Thank you. Brother Dathan waits for us in the parlor. Brother? Sister, would you give us a moment of privacy? Yes, brother. Have a seat, please. Where shall we begin? I don't know. Why not start with how you came by such sordid company in the first place, and more importantly, how you found us? It wasn't anyone's intent. After they... They came to our farm one day and killed my mother and Pa. All on account of Pa having sat in a jury that found Mr. Tilla's brother guilty of murder. Mr. Tullis was out for revenge for his dead king. So, they killed him and took me. While on the road, we came across two men, one white and one colored. The colored men helped me make a break for it. And I can only figure they killed them too. I see. I wasn't looking or paying heed to where I was going. My only aim was to get away, but by the time Gretchen caught me, I was here with you folk. I believe you. And it seems you suffered a grave injustice. Good day to you, miss. Mister? What's going to happen now? Father will preside over a trial in the morning for your companions. After which, it's highly likely you'll never have to see them again. So you're going to kill them? They will be called to account for their sin. What fate awaits them is up to them. If that be so, I'm glad, and I thank you for it. Some may call it wicked, but my desire for their blood weighs heavy on me. No, miss. Not wicked, but vengeance is the Lord's alone. Why is the air like that? I, I've never seen anybody get the better of Mr. Tolles like that before. Now you break free and walk them out here. Man, it's only flesh and blood after all. What do you reckon they'll do to us? <sighs> Nothing pleasing, I'm certain. They're gonna. They're gonna. Tortures, ain't they? Just sever our fingers. You scared, boy? Of course he is. Be a fool not to be. Samson, can you hear me, darling? Ain't no shame in it. No man alive's above the jitters. Yes, ma'am. That one. Come on, boy. Samson! Come down, boy. Leave him be, you cunts!
Garrett, you've led us directly into an ambush. Somehow you've managed to descend even lower in my esteem. That really stings, boss. Hold on, boys. We don't want any trouble. Not looking for trouble? It's a first for you, Garrett. Silky full. Sylvia now. Well, I don't care about the handle. I'm glad to see you. Who's your friend? He's a U.S. Marshal Quincy Hollis Foster. You bring the law to my camp, Garrett? I didn't know you were holed up here. What, what's he telling her? Hey, we've got money. We'll gladly compensate for bed and board. You bring this man here, this is most unwelcome. Ma'am, if I may. Whatever your crimes may be, I can assure you I have no intent on being a bother. As your friend Mr. Garrett rightly said, it's fresh water and some cooked food. That's all we're after. What do you pay with? Whatever your preference, silver or paper. We got more than enough of both. What will you take then? Whiskey. We ran out. It's your lucky day. This is the best wildcat this side of old Mexico. Not much here. But ever drops pure heaven. Diego, see our friends get to camp. Tell Alejandro I said take care of him. Vamos, cabrones. I thought you were dry. These chivatos drink beer. Because the fool sold our last bottle of whiskey to a frumpy old man. Two bottles of medicine. He can't get drunk off of medicine. <laughs> Alejandro, my good man. Is that the scent of whiskey I smell on your breath? Go away. Then what have you find, sir? Have you any spirits? Oh, fresh eye. I'm disappointed. So fine, like rays of sunshine. What? Your hair, it's lovely. Thank you. I think Father Noah intends for you to join us. I'm glad. And what if I don't want to stay? Where would you go? Your folks are gone. Are they not? Besides, no one is ever permitted to leave. Father says that those who know of us must never be able to depart. For it's only that the sinful know not of our sanctuary, that we thrive in the light of the Lord. Again, how'd you come to find us? By Jason, my little Connie. I, I swear. Let us suffice. What's your notion? They've all said the same thing, more or less. We still have one more. To bedevil a woman would put a strain on my conscience, Father. It's not necessary. Eminence Hill is safe.
Your friend doesn't look so happy. He's not one for the fine company. Or company of any sort. Sad part is, he's the one with the money. No change. Something regarding your personage is awfully pressing on that man's mind. It would seem so. Quincy Foster? Not the slightest. Mason Mills, Staff Sergeant, Third Cavalry, as was. Fascinating. What can I do for you? Carson Garrett, the Roadwood Seven. That was a long time ago, partner. Yeah, I used to know a lot of the boys from the seven. It's sad to see that you're taken up with such a sordid character. You just need to leave it, friend. Advisable idea. But some things need to be said. We all have our history. Yeah, none of us have angels. Hell, I'm just a bounty-chasing road dog myself. But I tell you, in a hundred years, only a time or two has hell spit out a man such as this. A fellow with a coldness about him that just ain't human. A creature that takes a life as simple as drawing a breath, and one who don't discriminate about whose life ends at his hands. You make me sound quite the monster. Maybe you should ask your friend to talk to those people at Beacon's Hope about that. You do remember Beacon's Hope, Mr. Foster. Quiet place, as peaceful as you would like, until they found gold in the creek. And those folks must have thought that they had struck fortune. That is, until the Hearst Mining Company came in, sent Mr. Foster. It was a business transaction with some regrettable attributes. Hearst kind of did pretty well with it, didn't he? because he ended up seizing the mining rights because there wasn't a soul left to deny his claim. You see, Beacons was founded by Kansas abolitionists as a safe haven for former slaves. And when Mr. Hearst got the word that there was color to be found, that brought on the furies. And your vivid depictions have loosened the memory. Over the years, I've not been kind. But Sergeant Mills here, along with other cavalrymen, was hired to assist in the suppression of a renegade colony of ex-slaves. Now, I am sorry if acting with the court of your duty has caused you some personal regret. But <laughs> it has been a day of some exertion, and I'll be taking my leave. Don't you even. Just cool them heels. Calling me out? Here we go. Huh. I'm calling you a lower than scum murderer of helpless women and children. I'm not calling you out. As sorry as I feel for the people of Beacons, I have no intention of rushing to join them. Huh. I just needed to say my part. Quincy Hollis Foster is a child killer. And with that, I take my leave. Hold! Come on, partner, let it roll off. You gonna force me to draw? You call the play, Sergeant. Now come to purpose. If you're gonna shoot me, it'll have to be in the back. Quetzi! <laughs> Look at me! Uh, Open your eyes and take sight! Uh, oh, Lord. Uh, uh, As all of you can attest to, uh, 
I did not stab this man in the back. That's depressing. <laughs> uh, pretty fucking lamentable. You and me tangled here like a couple of hogs awaiting slaughter. Yeah. Uh. Hey, Royce. We ain't getting out of this one, are we? I don't think so. Ah. The evening progresses, and still we find you troubled. What are you about, old man? You should know better than to sneak up on a man in the dark. My apologies, sir. I simply thought you might like some company. You know, most people that track off by themselves are trying to avoid it. Still, after the horrific incident that took place back there, your friend... Hardly my friend. Hired me as a guide, and the sooner I get him where he's going, the sooner I never have to set eyes on him again. And where is it that you are headed? For your sake, as well as mine, I'll avoid an answer. Naturally, wherever a man like that is headed is a place best avoided. I thought someday he'd meet up with a man that was faster and colder. Give him his just desserts. I thought there was such a man at the end of our journey, but I think even Royce Tullis will find himself wanting when he squares up with Quincy. Royce Tullis, you say? You need to keep that under your hat. As you say, but I do believe he's the fellow I had the misfortune of encountering a day past was traveling with a cut woman, two fellows, and a child. Where'd this crossing take place? On the road from Stark Ridge. My companion tried to assist the child in their company, and they cut him down. Stark's only a ride and a bed from here. Chances are he's not there by now. Couldn't have traveled far, doubling back by Creekside. Don't say a word of this to anybody you hadn't already told. But it is time you wake. Father Noah has called an assembly at the church, and the entire community is obliged to attend. What's happening? The trial of your companions, of course. And you must be Ruth. I'm Liam, and this is my sister, Margaret. Is it true you were taken prisoner by savages? Come now. strong son so no debility the accused will refrain from talking amongst themselves I recite from the book of Genesis now the earth was corrupt in the sight of God and the earth was filled with violence this is the word of the Lord and just as Salvation was granted to Noah and his family. So too, 
Has the Lord seen us fit for our own sanctuary? But once again, brothers and sisters, the agents of the devil have found our sanctum. Of all of those who have stumbled upon our ark in the past, never has there been such wretched creatures as the ones that stand before you today. Royce Tullus. A heathen paramount in sin. More beast than man. And then he gorges himself drunk on the blood of any who would oppose him. What say you, Mr. Tullus? Confess. Who oh, seek his salvation, Mr. Tullus? It is the Lord Jesus Christ who teaches us compassion and forgiveness. He tells us of the repentant sinner that may, only by the grace of God's mercy, yet be saved. Sir, I wish for absolution. Cyrus! Restrain yourself, Mr. Tolis. I will not! A morbid game is all this is. Probably wait this old pecker gets firm. Speak up, young man. Do you wish to confess? Uh, do, do I? This is a glorious news. For what sins do you seek atonement? Well, as been said, sir, I've done a whole heap of evil. Kind of hard to know where to begin. Have you murdered? I have. Have you stolen? Yeah. Have you spoke? Falsely. Many times. Do you speak falsely now? No, sir. It is Lord's truth. And you? S same as Cyrus. Him, him more. <laughs> I see. Would that I could absolve you myself. But, alas, only God can judge whether your confession warrants forgiveness. What's that mean? What's that? God! Dear Paul! Sir, sir, what happens now? Cyrus! All this is handiwork? That's that peddler's dead mute. Look, the tracks are going west. Why would he venture off trail? Well, I don't know, but he did. Fear not, for you've confessed. No, please. Please. No, no, no. No, please. No, no, no. No, please. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Be needing a fast horse as well, then? Anything will suffice. I'm told that Starkridge is just up north. Not only did Father take you in, but he passed the Lord's credence on those that wronged you. 
I just can't say, after seeing what they did to them. But you are not to blame. Any child born into the darkness of this world will cast off the radiance we offered her. Goodbye, Abigail. Won't you spare me over? Though I walk through the valley, shadow of death, I will fear. It's always Psalms. Girl, can you hear me? She's done. Leave her. She's not, and I won't. Welcome, strangers. <laughs> There's no need to bark thunder, friend. We're just here to bid you welcome. Welcome. Where are we exactly? We call this place Eminence Hill. We are a small community of the faithful put down in a territory full of lawlessness and violence. We find that our best defense is uh, casting a small shadow. I'm called uh, Father Noah. U.S. Marshal Foster. I'm uh, happy to know you, uh, but I'm saddened to see that one of our flock has fallen. What happened? I shot her. Why? That woman damn near killed this here child. I see. So it was all in the line of duty. We're on the trail of some bandits. Tracks led us here, and any help you proffer would be justly rewarded. Royce? Hey, Royce? What? We need a plan. You hear me? You're always so good at that. Remove any notion of walking away from this. So I've resigned myself to the fate that awaits. But I'm not going out like Cyrus and Sam. And not that I have much of one left in me, but I'm putting up a fight come what may. I just hope I can take at least one of them before they get me. Royce. I don't think I'm ready to die. No one ever is. I suppose it's uh, customary where you're from to offer a spirit, but we in Eminence Hill never partake. Nor do I. Ah. I was beginning to think no man beyond this town knew the value of a clear mind. Oh, Sister Wilhelmina, you've outdone yourself again. Gashes are deep. These wounds won't close on their own. Athelia, would you be so kind as to bring a needle and thread and some fresh water from the well? Yes, brother. So, Marshal, tell me about uh, these men you're chasing. Let's move forward. 
I'm going to assume you know exactly who it is I speak of, and for reasons of your own, you have sought to delay me. You're a very perceptive man. Well, I'd suggest you eat your roast before it goes cold. But if swine is not to your taste, I can have Sister Wilhelmina fix you something else. Royce Tullis. Where is he? He's traveling with three others, among them likely a girl, not yet a woman, who's taken captive by Mr. Tullis, not farther in years than the child my associate now tends to. Well, you offended you. And for that, I ask your forgiveness. But let me put your mind at ease. In the case of Mr. Tullis and his brigands, we have it well in hand. This is growing tiresome. They say that poison is a woman's weapon. Or a coward's. Watch carefully now. Look. Look. It's a painful way to die, the gut shot. Slow to be sure. But it can always be made worse with helping alone. Where are they? Sorry, darling. I don't think we're welcomed here. Where do those damn horses get to? You gonna cry out so those people come running? You gonna hold quiet? Good girl. Where's the stables? I'm gonna need another horse. Much obliged. Heaven help us. Find Nathan and Rufus and tell all the people to go to their homes and not come out until we give the signal. I'll not leave you. No, you must. No, you, you. William. William. Stupid boy. Kid's gone. So are you. You can save the rest of these good folks. Tell me where you've got Tullus. <laughs> My people ain't afraid to die. There's a better world waiting for them. Find us some saddles. Huh? 
Hey, who's that there? Royce? Carson Garrett. No words for my astonishment finding you here. What the hell did they do to you? Guess I'd be hoping too much that you were here to spring us loose. Come now, Garrett. See reason, if not charity, and name your prize to spring us loose. I ride with the law now. Ain't much different from riding with you, but I'm bound to it. You don't know these folks. They murdered Cy and young Samson. They tore them apart from limb to limb. And whatever you want to pit on me, I'll wear it. But no man deserves to die like that. Lawman, you ride with. Is anybody I know? Wentz E. Foster. <laughs> Foster? That's who they sent after me. He ain't no lawman. He's a damn killer. The only thing you're gonna get from him is a back full of lead. Because he makes sure, damn sure, come hella hard rain, that he's the only swinging dick left alive to tell a story. You spring us loose, I'll be saving your life. You and me? May not have always seen common, but I've never stated falsely when it counted. Cut me loose, and I'll give you my word. I won't follow. I'll take care of Foster. What if it's him that gets the better of you? In such an outcome? At least you get a head start. This one's holding on. Would you like the privilege? I would. You're sending me from this world to the arms of the Lord. I think you're in for one hell of a disappointment. I just know this. It was all for naught. Because once you're gone, I swear to you, I'm summoning up the hellfire consigning this whole goddamn place to the ashes. His will be done. You've been wounded, Mr. Tullis. 
It's a shame that our paths did not cross when you were of better health. You don't appear to be the best of sorts either. Just a scrape. Same here. I feel just standing. Just to make things fair. What weighs so heavy, Garrett? You believe in God? Shit, sorry I asked. Truth. Yeah, I suppose so, of course. You believe he saves people from their sins? That's what's told to us. I used to have nightmares. Things I've seen. Things I've done. It used to keep me up for all hours. It was hell. Man without rest is, is like a wounded animal. Makes mistakes and he loses his way. Then the nightmares stopped. Uh, not that they're replaced by good things or, or nothing. They, they just stopped. I guess I should be grateful for that. But it's like a, another piece of me died. Something got off on your craw today. Hell, maybe we read too much into these things. Maybe there ain't no God or, or devil or good or evil. They we're all just walking around trying not to get eaten by each other. Like animals in the wild. Yeah, well, I, I hope we're more than beasts. So do I. Are you looking for some company, big boy? Morning, Henry. Good morning. A little hair of the creature, mate. Ah, uh, coffee will suffice. Garrett. 
Foster, what the hell are you doing here? Royce Dallas is dead. Others too, as far as I can tell. All that remains is for us to conclude our business. Oh? Your pardon, Mr. Garrett, does that no longer hold any interest for you? You rode all the way here to secure my pardon. I find that a little more than hard to believe. Well, you'd find your suspicions well warranted. Alas, I have come to yet another impasse. In order for me to collect my just reward, Governor Safford's office has demanded that I deliver them the child. Alive, preferably, but any condition will satisfy the terms of the contract. She's not here. Where? I dare say that looks putrid. My health should be of no concern to you, Mr. Garrett. Surprised you hadn't found some doc to lop that off for you. I found one who tried. He regretted that effort. It's a hard fate for a man such as yourself to lose use of his shooting paw. The girl, Garrett! Garrett! Don't you turn from me! Garrett! God damn it, Janet, don't turn from me when I'm talking to you! Foster, this is our goodbye. Foster! Can't be Quincy Hollis Foster. I don't know you. Name's McKellips. Edward McKellips. Brother of the late Thomas. Surely you remember him. Yes. I remember. 